The Smart Switch Wi-Fi uniquely works with nearly any three-way switch already installed. Before getting started, make sure everything in the box is accounted for. Switch, screwless wall plate, sub plate, screws, and wire nuts. And these are the tools you'll need for the install. Flathead screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, and a flashlight. A voltage tester and wire strippers are also helpful. The Smart Switch Wi-Fi can be used in a three-way installation in conjunction with other three-way switches. The three-way switch that is closest to the circuit breaker panel receives power. The other three-way switch is connected to the load or your light. The Smart Switch can be installed in either location. Be sure to turn off the power for your existing device at the circuit breaker. Flip each of the three-way switches multiple times to confirm the power is off. Unscrew the existing wall plate of the three-way switch you want to replace with the smart switch. Use your voltage tester to be sure everything is safe and there's no power. Now check your wiring. If your three-way switch is closest to the circuit panel in your house, the wire attached to the black screw is your hot wire. If your three-way switch is closest to your light, the wire attached to the black screw is your load wire. You may want to mark this wire to refer to later. The other two wires are traveler wires that go to the other three-way switch. The neutral wire creates a path to return current to the power source when the device is off. This wire is required for your switch installation. And the ground wire, which provides a safe path for electricity in the event of a short circuit. Before unscrewing the old three-way switch, it may be helpful to take a quick photo of how it was wired to refer to later. To review, there are five wires to connect to the smart switch. The hot or load wire, the two traveler wires, the neutral wire, and the ground wire. In this video, we're replacing the switch closest to the circuit panel with the smart switch. First, connect the neutral wires by twisting them together in a clockwise rotation. You may have many neutral wires in your box. Use the large red wire nut to connect the neutral wires. The wires should not pull out of the wire nut when tight. Next, connect the wire that was attached to the black screw on the old three-way switch to the black wire on the smart switch. Next, connect the yellow and red wires from the smart switch to the traveler wires from the three-way switch. And finally, connect the green ground wire from the switch to the ground wire in the box, using a wire nut to secure the wires together each time. Gently fold the wires into the electrical box. Be careful not to pinch a wire or loosen any wire nuts. Use the device screws to secure the smart switch to the electrical box. Be sure you don't over tighten the screws or your device will not sit flush to the wall. Now you're ready to test the smart switch. Turn the power back on at the circuit breaker. Press the paddle switch to turn your light on and off. Next, go to the other three-way switch location to be certain it also turns the light on and off. To attach the wall plate, align the sub plate over the device screws and secure it to the smart switch using the screws provided. Push the screwless wall plate down until it snaps into place. To set up your system, download and launch the Legrand Smart Lights Wi-Fi app from the App Store or on Google Play.